Hey Nicole, it's Logan Stout here at Perkins Motorplex in Mayfield. Uh, as I promised, I'd try to get out here and get you a video of this Ford Edge Titanium that we talked about briefly. And here it is, and I am extremely pleased with it. I'd heard that it was in really good shape, uh, but obviously all of our vehicles are used. We don't expect any of them to be perfect. Um, we, uh, we, we know that everyone's gonna have a few little dings, scratches, whatever. Um, I've walked around this a few times. I've got a few things to point out, uh, but nothing real significant. Uh, very pleased with it. Uh, so let's do this. Um, first thing we always notice is the wheels and tires. When we go around to each one, the wheels are in very good shape. We see a lot of curving and scraping on midsize SUVs for whatever reason. Um, that's about the only one I've got on all four wheels is just a tiny little scrape right there. So that's awesome. And as far as the tires, uh, necks and tires, they're not new, but man, those are really, really good. I'm going to say I'm not the best at this, but I would say 70%, maybe, maybe a hair better, 70% tread, maybe 80. Uh, so several, several years of driving before you'd have to do anything on those across the back bumper and the back hatch really clean not seeing any major ding scratches anything like that all right i'm gonna walk right down the body line here and again i'm looking for the waviness in the paint anything that clues me in we got a a ding or scratch or something like that and just nothing really to point out on this side trying to be as picky as i can of course okay on the front left front driver's side you can see a very light scratch through there that almost buffed out completely uh, so one little spot there then across the front we expect it to have a few little rock packs a little bit of uh spots where you can see bugs got in the clear coat so a couple little tiny ones there's one that's been touched up but all in all very very nice across the front looking on the hood no hell damage Looks great across there. Let's do the same thing on the passenger side here. Great. Love that. Clean across the top. Let's go ahead and open this uh, back hatch here. Of course, it's the titanium, so it's going to be loaded up. Power lift gate. Tons of space back here. This is something with the midsize SUVs. We always point out the sidewalls that, you know, you've got luggage, you got strollers, you got things like that. You're going to see a little scrape right here on the sidewall. And they do make a product that will shine this and kind of fill it, fill that in a little bit. Um, ask me about that and I can uh, get you the Amazon link to it or whatever. But uh, great storage underneath here. Um, I believe we've got the spare ordered for it. Uh, it's missing the spare and uh, tools, but that's something owner's manual and spare tire. If you're missing either one, we can get that ordered and put in there for you real quick. Okay. Back seat looks great. No rips, no tears, and no smells. It's got the nice carpet floor mats in here. Let me shut this lift gate so we can... Get a better look here. All right. That side looks great. Rear heated seats. Love that. And you got your charging ports back here. It's always a good sign that those doors are intact. Seat backs. Awesome. Yeah. As good as it can possibly be so far. Driver's seat in great shape. Driver door looks good. Bangin' Olufsen sound system sounds amazing. It's my favorite sound system in all the cars. If you factor in Bose, JBL, uh, Harman Kardon, those are the main ones. But I'm a Bangin' Olufsen guy. So let's do that uh, complete double roof. I mean, just awesome there. And before I freeze, I uh, don't think it does the automatic on the return. So there that is. That's in great shape. 
and looks like the owner's manual will be ordered for it as well both are probably ordered already spare and owner's manual but i can confirm that and this is double layered of course you got your tray and then the deep console um yeah is i mean i can be as picky as i possibly can be but there's not a whole lot for me to point out wireless phone charger double usb port there your park assist stuff of course your uh knob to switch gears is right there very trendy um this has got the lane assist which is very similar to a self-driving feature you know you can be on a highway like 6880 is one i'm thinking of that's nice and clear uh you can set your adaptive cruise and then turn on your lane centering and the car will steady itself in the lane for you uh kind of frees up your hands a little bit it will tell you to put your hands back on the wheel when you take them off but uh i think i think most of these uh models that do this um uh, they'll go 30 seconds or so uh just driving itself um and that really does um add to some safety there for you so the touch screen i was messing around with it a second ago very responsive everything looks to be in working order let's get the navigation pulled up that's correct different apps you can add to it of course you're going to have your apple carplay your android auto as well climate controls nice little center storage there i could not be more pleased Sixty-five thousand miles that means it's going to qualify for one of our factory type total care warranty protections too um, and that is so clutch because it's not just engine and transmission coverage but it's alternator battery radiator power windows power locks and touchscreen backup camera parking sensors stuff like that uh, look at the cameras. You got a front camera there. There's your sides. And then, of course, let's do the reverse. There's your reverse camera as well. So, again, we sell used cars. We don't sell brand new cars. But at the same time, some used cars are easier to sell than others. That goes without saying. This is one that sells itself. There's not a whole lot I have to do carpet floor mats in the front too we'll look underneath the hood real quick so i'm quick to tell people the guys here laugh at me that uh, i don't know an alternator from a radiator but i have been trained a little bit how to look through and I'm looking for signs of excessive rust or corrosion. Your connections, nice and clean, nice and clear. And it sounds good too. Nice purr, it's no knocking, no ticking. <coughs> exactly what you want to see. Quick look at the frame as well. love it awesome it's very obvious when you look underneath one even even with an underspray we do an underspray on all of our vehicles whether it's a car a big truck suv doesn't matter we do that underspray it's very obvious when one is getting eat up with rust and corrosion and excessive stuff this one is clean as can be could not be more pleased with it i got to drive it for a second um yeah i think it's awesome let me know what are the questions you have